have my Project Pan April update and I think I did pretty good. I mean, I did okay, I guess. I'm very ecstatic about one thing, I bet. You guys can guess if you saw my old ones. P.S. I will put a playlist to my old ones so you guys can watch it if you want to see what's happened before this. Also, comment down below and let me know um, what you're painting right now. If you're doing a painting challenge, if you're painting a palette and I'm not watching you, I have to watch you because I watch literally everybody who's painting something. So comment down below and let's like get our pan on together because I want to watch your videos. I want to subscribe to you. Let me know who you are. Let me know where your Instagram is and I will follow you wherever you are doing your panning. Anyways, let's just roll right into this. I am painting my naked palette. I also thought I was going to paint a different palette. The um, blush nudes from Maybelline, but I have kind of put that one on the back burner because I really want to focus on this guy. I can you see this? Can you see the magic? Um, yeah, guys, yeah, <laughs> let's talk about it. Elephant in the room, holy cow! I used up sin, like. Maybe, like, no, I could, I definitely couldn't even get a full use out of it. I just kind of need to clean it out because there's just a bunch of dust in there. But I used up sin, woo! First eyeshadow I've used up out of this palette. I think it might only be, like, the third eyeshadow I've used up in my whole life. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I am so happy about this. I love this shade. I have it in a single that I got in a gift set, I think. So, and then I also have some other similar shades that I want to pan before I start to pan that single. Like, I think I have a MAC shade that's pretty similar. Anyways, this is exciting. Um, Virgin. I um, have been using Virgin as a cheek highlight. If you guys can kind of see my, I mean, I put my makeup on like eight hours ago. But, um, maybe it's still there a little bit. I'm using it as a cheek highlight and of course my inner corner and my um, eyebrow highlight and I really do think that the pan is expanding in this one which is also very very exciting. Um, Naked, if you remember I hit paint on it last month and I think I've expanded the pan a tiny bit, not too much. Sidecar, I've kind of delved into the world of Sidecar these past um, couple of weeks. Um, just kind of playing with it, using it every couple of days, not pressuring myself to um, like hit pan on it or anything like that. Just allowing myself to figure out what I like with Sidecar. And it's kind of been okay, a little bit stressful because I don't love that color. But I am going to learn to like it because especially now that my comfort zone, I dropped it. So look at that, I got makeup on my face. Um, especially now that my comfort zone um, eyelid color sin is all gone, I'm going to try and work with sidecar a little bit in its place. Maybe mixing with a couple of other things. Buck um, is my go-to eyebrow color. And I'm like, now I'm nervous, I still have makeup on my face. But I have makeup everywhere. Anyways, Buck is my go-to eyebrow color. Um, and honestly, haven't been filling my eyebrows in that often. I have, I was blessed <laughs> with naturally thick um, eyebrows where I don't have to um, fill them in every single day. Like, I did it today because I like got really ready and I did my hair and everything doesn't look good anymore it's been a long day and it was windy but anyways I haven't been using Buck as much I kind of need to you know get back on the horse and uh, get back to it because this year's going by very fast and I really wanted to have some of these done by the end of the year um, half baked I've used a little bit more and expanded the pan and I think a little bit um, smog same thing dark horse I used maybe twice um, toasted, I used a couple of times, um, I still like that in the crease with Sin, um, as like an everyday look. Uh, Hustle, I have been using that in, with Toasted and Sin, um, and I think I'll be hitting the pan on that very soon, especially if I continue to use it like I am. Creep, I have been using a little bit more often, just adding a smoky element to some of my like eyeliner looks. 
Um, also just kind of trying to just do a smokier look in general with some black in there. And gunmetal. I have talked to you guys about gunmetal before. It isn't something that I enjoy wearing, so I don't. I won't be trying to pan that this year. Um, and I, after all of these are gone, I will probably just deep hot gunmetal, put it into a Z palette, and I guess save it for maybe one day where I need a bluish gray uh, with sparkles, which I don't know if I'll ever need that. Um, but that is my update for the month. I My goals for next month um, is going to be to uh, hit pan on hustle. Um, I'm going to try, okay, I'm saying it now so it's out on the record. I want to hit pan on Hustle and hit pan on Sidecar. Those are going to be some crazy goals, but I actually really think I can do it, especially with how easily I hit pan on um, Half Baked and Smog when I put myself, my mind to it um, in March. So yes, uh, Sidecar and Hustle, I would like to hit pan on. Let's see if I can actually do that. Um... Yeah, so those are my goals. That's my progress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to, yeah, let me know down below if you are, I, meant to say, I almost said let me know downstairs. Let me know downstairs if you are going, or if you are panning something, doing any sort of panning, panning challenge because I want to watch it. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more panning videos and lush videos and random videos. I kind of just do um, anything I want. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!